Hey guys, so this will be a bonus reading for the sign of Taurus. You guys were in the top three for views for this week's readings. I don't think that that's ever happened before. So I wanted to gift you guys a reading. I also will be doing an extended reading for you guys as another gift. Um, I will also be doing an extended reading for you guys. Um, we do channeled messages in that reading. We also do, we take a look at the future. We take a look at career. We do spiritual gifts insight. Um, we see where you guys are at on your spiritual spiritual journey and what you guys are manifesting in the extended reading. So um, if you're interested in that, the link to that will be in the description box. Um, this will be a general collective reading, so it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But I do offer personal readings. If you're interested in that, there's information in the description box on how to book a personal reading with me. This could resonate for sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements in Taurus. All right. Taurus. What do my Taurus viewers need to know? Something's going on with you guys. The devil. Oh. Who is that? Salma Hayek. Am I pronouncing her name right? You guys are freeing yourselves from some type of uh, toxicity here, guys. I see you guys becoming independent. For some of you, you guys may be becoming independent from a Capricorn. But what I'm getting with this is that you guys are freeing yourself from some type, type of toxic situation, toxic habit, addiction, codependency here. Um, and you guys are going to be doing really well for yourselves. You're going to be very abundant, very successful, self-sufficient. Being able to treat yourselves loving yourselves um i see something new manifesting for you guys and it could be um either this is a commitment manifesting for you guys hold up hmm This could have been a toxic commitment that you were in um, that just became too heavy. There was just too many burdens in it. It was just, it was, it was too much. It was too toxic. It was too much for you to carry or for you to keep holding on or trying in a situation. For some of you, you were in a relationship with possibly a fire sign or you found out that somebody that you were in a relationship with was, maybe had a third party. Or this is something that could be coming to light. But I feel like for some of you, you guys are closing out a cycle. And you guys are going to take action towards what you're, you feel passionate about. Take action towards your happiness, your fulfillment. Creating harmony in your life. I feel like you guys are going to be... If, you, if you've been through any heartbreaking situations lately, we have the Three of Swords here. You're going to be coming out of that. All right, you guys, With the Ace of Swords, you're going to be gaining clarity. You're going to be seeing the truth. You're going to be having a new beginning here. Winona Ryder. And that was Brad Pitt. <laughs> Your intuition is trying to tell you guys something about this situation, guys. You're going to be coming into some type of information um, that's going to close out a cycle for you for one for once and once and for all it's going to be done it's going to be over with you may have already disconnected from this toxic situation or person or whatever it is job but i don't feel like the cycle has completely closed out but something's going to be your intuition is trying to show you something about the situation that's going to completely close out the situation it's going to um end any tension any conflict whether that's inner or you know actual conflict it we have more indication of there being conflict in a situation. Five of Wands. 
competition. You're walking away from that. Eight of Cups, you're walking away from that. You're moving towards something that's more emotionally fulfilling. And you're focusing on finding balance within your own life. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> finding balance and... Healing, being patient, trusting the universe. Getting clear about what it is that you guys want. I feel like we're... I see a lot of clarity, peace of mind coming towards you guys once you release this toxic person or situation. So let's dive in a little bit deeper. Let's see what's going on. So this is obviously between you and another person. So let's take a look to see what's going on on their end and see what's going on on your end. All right. Hmm. Yeah, let's see what heavy use these. I was like, do I want to use these or what? Taurus. All right, give me four cards up for my Taurus viewers. What are their energies in regards to the situation? running away from a situation freeing yourselves from a situation that you may love this person you may you know sometimes you love people but you know that they're not good for you and this is like the kind of something about this focused card you could you guys can be dealing with somebody that watches you or really keeps like close tabs on you they kind of make you feel a little bit suffocated sometimes or they're just very like maybe clingy they watch your like every move on social media or they want to know what you're always doing or something like that, guys. But I feel like you guys love this person. But there's something here also about some type of third party, guys. This just keeps coming through. That's going to come out of nowhere. It's like maybe you guys are going to like out of nowhere find out about a third party. Or about somebody here, karmic. And I feel like that's going to be, you know, it's going to be a wrap. All right, this situation. All right, let's see what's going on on your person's. Let's see what's going on with your this person you're dealing with. What are their energies in regards to this connection? In regards, regards to my Taurus viewers. <laughs> Hmm. yeah this person yeah it's like this person is like very like much watching you if you guys don't know that this person this person can be very lustful too they could just be very lustful but this person you're you're they may also disregard you that they're disregarding maybe your concerns or your feelings here but this person watches you. They keep close tabs on you. Their goal, they, they want to keep you tied down or weighed down. They, it's like they don't want you to get away from them. But this person's getting cut off. <laughs> you're, you're cutting this person off. And it ha may have something to do with a third party. Or about some type of, they, they may be gave into some type of temptation. Hmm. All right, let's get Evolution of the Soul cards. If I can get to them. <laughs> I have too many decks. These You can never have too many decks in my eyes, but I just need a better way to organize my decks, that's all. <laughs> it's coming, guys. It's coming. I'm going to have a brand new setup soon. Ooh. 
All right. My Taurus viewers. Yeah, it's like, maybe you felt like you couldn't be your own person with this per like, but I feel like you guys are going to be emerging. You guys are ascending. You guys are coming into your authentic selves, your individual selves. Yeah. Um, you guys are taking a risk here. Taking control of your life. Spirit is saying that they, they have noticed your perseverance, that maybe things haven't been easy for you. Your life path hasn't been easy. But Spirit is saying that they've been preparing you for great things. Great things are manifesting for you. Um, you guys are meant to be leaders. You weren't meant to be in the shadow of, uh, you know, of anybody else or to be controlled in this type of way by anybody else. All right. Um, Spirit saying that maybe at this time you would do better being on your own. For some of you, you guys could be on life path one. But Spirit saying that you're going to be exploring new territory. They want you to try something new. Walk into the unknown. And it's you're going to be learning a lot of things. And it looks like you're going to have a successful outcome. Um, Spirit was trying to teach you a lesson here in self-awareness. You could have been an, like, you could be, some of you guys could be empaths and you guys are dealing with a narcissist. Is what I'm seeing here. Empath, narcissist, paradigm or relationship. A lot of empaths gravitate towards narcissist or, you know, vice versa. Common thing. All right, guys, so I am going to be taking this over to the extended reading. If you're interested in that, um, the link will be in the description box. But if not, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.